Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you for watching my channel. So I watched last week Glass. Was it very clear as crystal or was it murky? Before I go ahead and tell you what I thought about Glass, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to support my channel. So. Before I go and tell you what I thought about the movie or what the movie is about, uh, let me go ahead and break down how I score or analyze the movie. I usually just break it down to four parts. Acting, directing, writing or script, and then the X factor, how I felt during watching it or during watching the movie. So what was the movie about? It actually takes three weeks after Split ended. Uh, Split is, of course, uh, starred by James McAvoy. Um, he has 23 personalities, and one of them is called The Beast. It's connected now to Unbreakable. Unbreakable was also uh, with Bruce Willis. He was a superhero. Uh, once he touched someone, he knew what you were thinking or what your feature was, and he was very strong. And also, it starred... Samuel L. Jackson as Glass. Uh, glass being that his bones are very brutal, brittle and can break easily. So basically this was a uh, culmination or the finish of the story. A trilogy. Um, kind of a different trilogy from any other trilogy like uh, Dark Knight, Batman Begins, it follows. But this one is three different, three different characters. Uh, villain, hero, or whatnot. So again, it does take effect or takes place three weeks after Split ended. And David Dunn, who is played by Bruce Willis, I'm sorry, Bruce Willis, he is going all over the place with his son, which by the way, his son is played by the kid that played his son in Unbreakable. So there's the continuity of which was kind of great so he is after james mcavoy's character who is again the beast um, kevin played by kevin and then all of a sudden they he catches him they get into a fight and they are captured by a psych ward who is the um, lead or head psychologist is played by robert or uh, rebecca paulson sorry rebecca paulson and there we also see Mr. Glass, or Elijah Glass, played by Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, Miss Paulson is trying to put in their mind that they are just imagining it, that they are not really superheroes. It is being explained by science or their uh, psyche of what trauma they had. So in terms of acting, it was actually great in terms of one person, James McAvoy. James McAvoy played every single character or every single persona that he had very well. But of course, there was some persona that just kind of, I forgot, it was a little kid, nine-year-old, um, the name. But he kept playing it back and forth. That It just didn't kind of, uh, I guess, ran out its welcome. And it just kept, oh God, this one again for me. Bruce Willis looked like he just phoned it in again, but again, not not his fault. He only played a small part, and when he did play his, uh, his part, he didn't speak. So he had the small part, so he didn't really, but it kept, it still feels like he's phoning it in. And of course, Samuel L. Jackson is Samuel L. Jackson, and he plays Glass, and at half of the movie, he was sedated heavily. Uh, Rebecca Paulson, I hope that's her name, uh, the psychologist. Uh, I just didn't like the way that she played the character. It was very dry. It was not believable. And I'll explain to you why it became not believable in terms of the script. So James McAvoy was the only one that I would say deserved an, probably a little bit of a nod when he was in Split. Really played it very well in split great in fact 
but he was only good here because he had to be over the top. He he had one character, like I said, I forgot his the one of the psyche of Kevin, uh, that little boy. I mean, it just you know irritated me when it, I kept seeing it. But what he did great in Split was the subtlety, you know, like the hand, the gesture. Like the older lady, the one that's supposedly in charge, would just have a little bit of a subtlety and the voice will go down very calm and that was great. So James McAvoy was the standout. Other than that, Samuel, again, Samuel L. Jackson was Samuel L. Jackson, but he only played a little bit of a role. So there was not really an impact. So it was basically James McAvoy. It should have been the Beast instead of Mr. or Glass as the title. But that is it and he just um had a small part in terms of script the very beginning or the first half of the movie was great one it went to the ending and there was a payoff there that just didn't seem like it was good i mean i get it it's cool but uh, the execution of having a society a secret society like that just doesn't feel like it was earned it was just like, okay. It was like an ex machina. Two, um, I kind of like, you know that they have the flash for James McAvoy's character and it, he changes his uh, personality every time it flashes. If I was that one, I would just cover my eye and boom. Switch to close my eyes and then bam, I'll be the beast. Boom, I escape. Really? And again, the ending, I'm not going to spoil it, but it went to an ending that was too many twists. One of the twists I can get, the secret society, but the other one, I just, I mean, I got that one, but the secret society, again, was not earned. And also the connection of all three of them and how they connected the story. It was not, it was great in terms of uh, idea, or in terms of planning, but the execution again was not good. And then there comes the directing. At first, it was very good in the very beginning of cinematography and everything like that. Uh, but even the fight between the beast, David Dunn, Overseer, uh, his name was Overseer. It kind of, it was kind of fake. <laughs> it was kind of fake. That that begins it there. And then um, just the story just kept on dragging the story and so the way that I there was some cameras that just you know shaky cam just focusing on it it just didn't feel like an action film and it wasn't supposed to be but those action film was did not feel well the good thing that I like about it is the tone or the filter um, David Dunn has his own color uh, Samuel L. Jackson Mr. Glass has his own color and then James McAvoy, the beast, has his own color. So once you see them, you can see that the color changes. So that was kind of good. But again, the cam, the face cam, and everything like that just didn't feel good to me. And then because he is also the director, I think he could have done better. He could have written it better a little bit, and then he could have directed it. And the impact. This is the first movie in 2019 that... I was almost in wanting to leave. <laughs> I really wanted to leave so badly with this movie because of the last half. It was just dragging. And let me go back this too with the script. I think the victim of James McAvoy, she just got traumatized three weeks. It's in the trailer, so I'm not spoiling anything. You think you got traumatized, you would heal in three weeks with that kind of horrific uh, thing. So that just took me off of that. And then again, this is a secret society, the payoff, it wasn't there. I'm not gonna say what, but the payoff wasn't earned for that. And there was too many twists. Again, um, he did go for a home run, M, uh, M. Night Shyamalan, he did go for a home run, but he missed. So, I mean, class in terms of if you want to see the conclusion of the unorthodox unusual comic book uh, trilogy go ahead and watch it but I would say go ahead and watch it matinee and if you can wait till streaming 
so you can just save your money um, in terms of score I would say 60% for this even even lower it would have been lower if James McAvoy did not at least earn his money I don't know how much he got paid because it's 20 million dollar uh, budget and it's self-funded by M. Knox Shamlock. It is a profitable, but not as profitable, I think, than what he wants it to be. It is a good, uh, I guess, ending, been under par than the first two. So yeah, that is my review of Class. Uh, have you guys watched it? Did you like uh, Unbreakable? Did you like Split? Now, for me, uh, Split is number one, then Unbreakable, then a low, very, very, very <laughs> low third would be this class and it's very disappointing it started well uh but it ended uh, kind of a bad taste in my mouth so again uh, watch it if you want to know what will happen uh, don't expect that it's gonna even surpass but do expect some twists uh Shyamalan style <laughs> Shyamalan style i mean m night but other than that i uh, hope you have a great day and i do apologize for not videoing i kind of had a accident so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button again and again have you watched uh, glass or the other three do you think uh, m night Shyamalan is going down or is he improving and like always that's a wrap